This instructional video will introduce you to a revolutionary new mold material, TAP Platinum Silicone. We will make a block mold and a brush on mold using platinum silicone. The three most common mold making materials are latex, urethane, and silicone. Each of these has its advantages and disadvantages as outlined in our video, Introduction to Tap Mold Making Products. Silicone comes in two formulations, tin and platinum cure. The most common and economical is the tin cure silicone. It is an industry standard. The second type of silicone is platinum cure. It represents the highest quality silicone possible. Platinum Cure Silicone has several superior qualities. Outstanding tear resistance, greater resistance to chemicals for longer production runs and longer mold life, and excellent dimensional stability for reproducing extremely accurate parts. But perhaps the biggest advantages of our Platinum Silicone are the super user-friendly features. First, it is an easy one-to-one -one mix ratio versus the 10 to 1 of most other silicones. But more than that, it has super low viscosity. This means it is easy to mix. And then, finally, it does not require any special de-airing processes like the other silicones do. You can measure, mix, and pour the silicone and the bubbles will self-release. The finished product is so bubble-free it looks as if it was vacuum treated. The one to one mix ratio and the low viscosity make this perhaps the easiest mold making material on the market. But wait, there's more. TAP Platinum Silicone has four more exclusive outstanding properties. We will demonstrate them first by making a simple block mold. To make a block mold, select a base of non-porous material. We are using acrylic. Fasten your model to the base using a hot melt glue gun. Build a wall around the model to contain the silicone. We will use strips of acrylic. Place them about one half inch away from the model. Using a glue gun, you can make the box a custom size. It is important to make the seals leak proof. Next, determine the volume of the box by filling it with rice then measuring the volume of the rice. Rice is used because it is easy to remove from the model and the box. Measure the silicone into two separate containers at a one-to-one -one ratio. Combine the halves, scraping the sides of the cups to remove all components. Note that with platinum silicone, it is best to use plastic or metal containers and stir stick rather than paper and wood. Mix thoroughly for two full minutes, scraping the sides. Once mixed, pour into the corner of the mold box and let the silicone slowly fill up around the model. Since the tap platinum silicone is translucent, you can see the model and judge that you have poured enough silicone. Another great feature of this silicone is that it cures enough to demold in as little as two hours. You no longer need to wait until the next day to have a completed mold. You will also notice how flexible this silicone is. Molding rubber is measured in a hardness scale. Typical tin cure silicone such as TAP Silicone RTV has a hardness of about 28. TAP Platinum Silicone has a hardness of only 8, so it is suitable for any application requiring very soft rubber material. You can also make brush-on molds with TAP Platinum Silicone. The advantage of a brush-on mold over a block mold is that you use less than half the material, therefore reducing your cost. As you can see here, the block mold weighs 1.15 pounds. But for the same model, the brush on mold weighs only 0.45 pounds. That is a 60% cost savings.
The brush on method is also good for making molds of vertical objects that cannot be moved. Here is how to make a brush on mold. Attach the model to the base as we did before. Mix up a small quantity of platinum silicone. Using a small brush, coat the model with a thin layer of silicone. Rotate and examine the model carefully to make sure there are no bubbles or miss spots. This thin coat is called the skin coat and is critical to picking up all the detail of the model. After about half an hour, the skin coat will have gelled. Mix up another batch of silicone. This time, add up to 10% by volume of Thixotropic additive. As you mix the additive in, you will see the silicone thicken. After you have thoroughly mixed, smooth the thickened silicone onto the model like peanut butter. Since the silicone is translucent, you can see the thin spots. Again, rotate the model and fill in all the details and undercuts. Build the silicone up to be at least one quarter inch thick. One thing to be aware of is that thixotropic additive reduces your working time. So mix small batches so that you can apply them within five to ten minutes. Spread the silicone out about two inches beyond the base of the model to form a flange. After two hours you can remove your new brush on mold. The mold can be supported through the cutout of a cardboard box. One final feature of platinum silicone needs to be highlighted. In a platinum mold, clear polyester resins such as our clear light casting resin cure without tackiness or alligatoring common to other rubber molds. Parts come out of the mold with beautiful finishes. This sphere is an example. It is straight out of this mold and made with clear light casting resin. Even small volume parts such as these jewels cure with a gem-like finish. This makes platinum silicone the product of choice for clear and transparent castings. So whether it is a block mold, brush-on mold, or even a two-part mold, Platinum silicone offers the best in quality and ease of use. Tough, tough plastics, the fantastic plastic place.